Hello everyone and welcome back to the One Life Challenge. I've literally got like 20 grand to make this week so uh, let's see if we can do it. But first, obviously, as usual, we gotta water our crops and I can see that I've left some stuff in my inventory to remind me to do it. Oh, I need my scythe. So it looks like we're gonna be taking a trip to the museum later today. And if I remember correctly, it's probably because I'm looking for those pumpkin seeds I still don't have for next season. That's my sword. Let's see how many gold star haze we can get today. Please don't just give me one again. Okay, it's two. I mean... <laughs> It's still better, I think we're like halfway there on the wheat now. I never saw myself planting quite this much wheat, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Of course, it's another morning of a breakfast of mushrooms. And let's have a look. Should we just sell again all the basic and silver ones? I think we will. Also the red mushroom, the hot pepper, and I've put the coffee away for next year. And it should mean by the time I get to Clint's, he's gonna be definitely open. Maybe we even get some good trash on the way. I will definitely take a field snack. One man's trash is another man's dinner. Hello, Clint. I have a single geode for you. Please give me something good. Oh my god. I t anything but stone. Come on. I'm just praying these two things for the museum will be enough. I mean, I could go and look up like how many things I need for the pumpkin seeds, but I don't really want to do that. Damn it. No new rewards. Do I definitely not have any to collect? No, I don't. Okay. Rip, I guess. And hey, we got another crab from the crab pot, but that's not what we want anymore because we obviously got enough crabs from when we went and slayed them all in the mines. Oops, I did not mean to jump in the water. Uh, how do I get out of this? Okay, we're all good. Everything's fine. <laughs> Just casually swimming in the sand, don't mind me. There is a bubble spot here I should probably take advantage of, but let's go and get all this coral and stuff first. Definitely not hoping the bubble spot disappears before I get there or anything. All right, fine, we'll fish. I should probably do it for the money and the uh, food anyway. That's also the levels would be good. I just realized we're almost at level five, which means we can make the fish worth a little bit more. There's treasure in this one too. Please be an artifact that I need. And it's a rare disc. We need that. Okay. Oh, the bowl spot went. Man. All right. Let's have a look in the water. Do we have any treasure today? I need to swim to a spot where I can see this entire side. There's a chest there and it's real. Okay. Right next to it. Like I just knew, you know. <laughs> Just some wild bait, but uh, it's fine. I shouldn't be so picky. Just take the bait. I probably should start using that wild bait. I haven't actually used any of it yet. And then we'll have a look at this side. There's another one there and it's a chest. In fact, I'm just gonna walk and like jump off right in front of it. Maybe like here? Regular bait, okay. So far it's just a load of free bait. I don't know if like there are any other things I can get in these chests. And now I don't know whether to sell any of my fish. I mean, I'm really close to level five. I really should just get level five, shouldn't I? Okay, fine. Fine old fish. Oh, there's another bubble spot there. Right in the top corner. No, did it really disappear as soon as I jumped it? Oh my, I'm having a bad time with these today. And there's level five. Now I can get out of here for now. Although should I take advantage and sell loads more fish? I need to wait till tomorrow, right? I know that technically you pick the skill before the like rundown of all the money comes up, but I'm not sure if it takes effect till tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna not chance it and just wait because we really need the money. I'm gonna laugh so hard if this is the one artifact I needed. Oh my god, it's a reward. Okay. Do, do you by any chance have any pumpkin seeds? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. All right, those are secure for next year. There's a lid on this bin, but I did check it on the way into Clint's and it's empty. Oh, now the lid comes off. You know that thing where like something's broken and then you show someone and it's fine? It literally feels like that. Actually, this one's doing it. Oh, so the, the lid came off this one too. Ugh. It was doing it earlier where the bin lid wasn't coming off, even after I'd checked it, so I just had no idea. Maybe we should go and check the ones outside uh, Emily's and Jodie's place as well. Don't mind me, Jodie. Definitely not going to go rummage through the trash. Actually, no, I'm not going to because it's empty. Oh my god, Emily. <gasps> if I was like seconds ahead, that would have been really bad. She's not going to know now, surely. She's got me some seaweed and a newspaper and we need both of those things. Actually, we don't need the seaweed. Probably going to sell the seaweed. Seaweed doesn't count as fish either, obviously, does it? So I could just sell that tonight. That sounded like a really silly thing to say, but it's things you can technically catch. Oh, my inventory is full. Maybe I should just eat the field snack. Now I have room for fiber. But now I'm just putting all my fish back in the chest so that when uh, tomorrow comes around, I can go ahead and sort through what I want to ship. What do I want to do with this skeleton? I think I'm going to go put it like by the entrance of my farm to show that like skeletons are welcome here and maybe it'll attract more of them. They don't know I'm going to kill them. And my farm's kind of getting a bit of a mess, so um, I'm going to go ahead and sort that. Oh my god, I am so dumb. I've just realised I completely forgot to go to PS to get more wheat seeds. That's fine, we'll just have to do it tomorrow. Oh my... <laughs> I'm just trying to think. There's nothing in the rules I don't think banning us from shopping at Jojo Mart. Or... Do I do that? Do I, do I go to Jojo Mart? 
I'm going to go check the rules, which if you don't know where to find the rules, it is in our Discord server, which is linked in the description. Yes, it does not say I cannot shop at Jojo Mart here, so I'm going to go and get my wheat seeds. I, I can't miss out on the wheat seeds. This is too essential. It could mean that, like, you know, the difference of, like, one harvest. I'll go ahead and fight everything on the way home, except for maybe the skeleton that's literally in my path. I know it's going to be more expensive, but I don't want to waste a single day on potentially not getting a gold wheat. They are still open, right? Yes. Hello. I need... Um, I'm just going to get 20 so I don't spend quite as much. I'm very aware that you can buy the other seeds that we're missing from Pierre's over in Jojo Mart, but I'm going to not do that because I feel like it's not like within the spirit of the challenge. Going to buy seeds that I can already buy at Pierre's, I feel like I'm okay with because I'm also paying a penalty of the fact that they literally cost more. But I don't want to go and buy seeds from there that like I can't get at Pierre's because then it just defeats the whole purpose of the challenge, doesn't it? So that is me self-declaring a rule for myself. Thankfully, I think all the spaces that I want to plant in in here are actually already watered anyway. I'm just going to be careful and make sure that I prioritise those because I don't have my watering can on me and I don't want to pass out in here. That would kind of suck. Okay, we've got them all planted. We're all good. Oh my god, look at all those skeletons. Bonus bone sword. And obviously I'll have to go and sell that another day because it is late. The Adventurer's Guild would already be closed and obviously we- Ooh, these are different. Wait, never mind. Baits are two times more effective. Crab pots are cheaper. Can trap higher quality fish. Oh, I don't know. I'm probably going to do baits are two times more effective because if that means that we get a faster bite rate, I'm probably going to be happy with that. As much as I feel like I somewhat struggle with the minigame, half of my problem is the fact that I just have to sit there and stare and wait for a fish. Hey, it's a forage day and I'm noticing that I'm barely getting any spice berries again, although I can still make some more tea saplings today, so I'll be happy. Just it's going to be my last summer forage of the season, which is a sad day. Did get a foraging level up though. Now level five. I'm wondering if the professions have changed for this too, if the fish ones have. Actually, was the fishing my first level five? Hang on. Oh, it was. Okay, so I wonder if the foraging ones will be different too then. Kind of curious now. Oh, maybe not. It's not going to be our last forage. There is still one more batch to come, most of which I have to water. I don't know if I then take advantage of all this space by planting more wheat seeds because we still have time before the end of the season anyway. Maybe I should. My inventory is still full. What can I remove right now? Nothing really. Actually, I can because I can make more seeds. <laughs> oh my god, dog, please move. Oh my god, please? Okay. I was like fully stuck there for a second. Now let's go ahead and turn all these summer seeds straight into tea saplings. We've got 40 of them. Oh my god, that's another eight grand. I'm happy with that. Curious to see how many we get from the next harvest in a few days. Let's also sell these veggies off and uh, anything I can leave here? Not really. What was I doing today again? Oh yeah, I need to go to Pierre's. <laughs> Let's not forget to get more wheat seeds. Plus it is still like the tiniest bit of profit even if I don't get the gold ones I need. I don't know how many to get though, maybe 30? Jodie wants a diamond. I'm gonna help with that because that's 450 gold. And some friendship points. Hello, um, yeah, I'm gonna get 30. 30 wheat seeds. I can't remember if I've got another diamond at home actually for Jodie, I just thought about that. <laughs> actually, I wanna check something in my journal as well. Oh, it does say two days. I had a comment like a couple of weeks ago on a uh, quest where it says please deliver it sometime today and everyone was like no you still had time to do it and why does it say please deliver sometime today if I can do it tomorrow? I, <laughs> My brain can't compute the thing that is like straight up not true. I don't have any more diamonds. Okay maybe we have to go up to the mines today then and just hope we get one at some point. I feel like that's a risk I'm willing to take. All right, our next batch of wheat is planted. I was actually only one seed short for covering all the watered spaces, I think, so we did pretty well there, especially for just guessing. I do feel like I'm really under-equipped in terms of food, though, for the mine, so... Oh, let's go ahead and sell some stuff, so we can get rid of a lot of these things now. Any other fish I want to sell? Probably the plain flounder. Have I not put an iridium bullhead in this chest here? I have not. Okay, I should probably do that. There we go, that's all safe. And I don't know if I should maybe go and donate some stuff again. I don't think I can be bothered right now. Maybe this is what I could use one of my lucky lunches on, although it kind of feels like a waste. Like, am I going to be more likely to come across a diamond with a lucky lunch? I don't know. I think what we'll do is, since we can get diamonds on the frozen floors, I'm going to reset through floor 40. We'll also be able to get some coal here. And there is still a chance of getting a diamond. I will also go ahead and take a quick break just to go ahead and sell off my spare bone sword. We might as well get the money for it. And I'm going to eat this grape as well to restore a bit of health, hunger and thirst. Even if only a little. Get rid of you. I'll sell the bat wings whilst I'm here, why not? 
Actually, have I met any girls recently? I don't actually remember. Hello? Nothing. Nothing at all. Sorry, Gil. I don't mean to disturb you. <laughs> Problem is, I think diamonds are more likely the further down you go, right? So maybe I should be resetting on floor 80 slash 81 and just kind of like hoping that A1 appears there and B I don't get killed. This is a chance for us to collect fibre anyway. Fibre farming when you really need tea saplings is never a bad thing. <gasps> Mushroom floor! Ah! Let's fight our way through this one. I think a mushroom floor is more than worth it. All that foraging XP. I'm gonna ignore that slime though. That can go away. As today, I'm probably gonna end up having to eat the uh, purple mushroom. I know it says I still need it for the field research there, but I already have three sitting in a chest. I just need to donate them. I think that's another reason why I probably should just go and donate the stuff that I have so I don't get confused. But I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of them. They don't give you a huge amount of fullness and stuff. It's mainly health. Maybe I don't eat them then. <laughs> Maybe I save those for later. What's this for? Full foraging? Oh, I need that. Okay. Did not know I need the gold star ones. Plus, another reason it's not a bad thing to be down here is because I do also need the solar essence. Not from this guy, but from this guy. And these aren't too bad to kill. You can keep them away pretty easily. There we go. I don't actually know how many rubies I need. I need six. Not sure how many I have, but it's probably not six. Well, I guess maybe no diamond today. I did get several rubies though. Ah, stay away from me. Get me out of here. And I know it's like reasonably early, but I don't want to starve to death. So what I'm going to do is go down to Gus's and get some food from him because I think we're in dire need of salads. I'm going to go ahead and save the purple mushroom for like healing in skull cabins or something. Praying I can actually get to Gus's and buy the salads before I starve to death, hopefully. I'm sure we'll be all right. Hello, Gus, I'm dying. I need some salads, please. Uh... I've bought six for now. Let's give that a go. How much does that give us again? We'll just eat two. Maybe I'll buy like two more. And then we'll go home and sort through our loot. Although I am going to kill as many skeletons as I can on my way home. To be honest, I'm actually surprised that my combat wasn't the first one to level five. With the amount of stuff we've been killing. But I think combat does just take a while, doesn't it? Plus these are only giving me like one XP. Or is it just the dust sprites giving me one XP? I need to pay attention next time we kill a skeleton. Okay, our loot chest. So, I definitely need more emeralds. Wait, there's two diamonds in here. I could just sacrifice one of these. How far off the treasure hunter bundle am I? I think that is the question. I still need five more emeralds, so I think I can sacrifice a diamond. We'll go ahead and give that to Jody tomorrow. It is tomorrow, isn't it? Yes. But now let's get all of these sold off for some extra money. Also need this void essence, apparently. And level 5 foraging, 25% more wood or 20% chance of double yield. I think these are the same, so I'm going to stick to forager. Hopefully that means next harvest we get, I get a load more stuff. Eight and a half grand that day. A very good money day. And today's also Willie's birthday now. What does he like? I mean, I don't think I have any particular fish that he's like extremely excited about. I know he loves diamonds, but I don't really want to give him one of them. Do I just go with something liked this time? I think I will... Mm, hopefully he likes cauliflowers. What am I doing with this purple mushroom? I want to put it away. I am wondering if I do go and drop some stuff off because this chest really is getting out of hand at this point. These. That. Is there anything else? I think the geologist. Those are done. Those are done. Uh, Topaz I think is done. How many rubies do I need? I need six and I've got six so that's perfect. All right, let's go. Wait, I forgot to water my crops. How can I forget to do that? What kind of a farmer am I? I don't think there's anything to harvest today. Oh, there's loads of peppers. Whoops. Okay, I'm just gonna throw everything on the ground here. I'll sort this harvest out, then I'll come back in here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep these mushrooms to eat, maybe? Yeah, I'll just leave them in the chest for now. No harm in doing that. And now we'll go ahead and pick all of these up so I can't forget them. And we'll finish off this watering. I can't believe I almost forgot. Don't tell them. Don't tell them I almost forgot to water them. Before I do any donations, I'm gonna go ahead and give this to Jody. This is for you. The diamond looks perfect. I'll take the 450 gold. And then do I do Willie's birthday gift since I'm down here? I probably should, right? I'm pretty sure Willie actually doesn't mind flowers. I've just picked up a gold star sweet pea, so I'm probably going to give him that instead because it might be the tiniest bit more friendship points. Happy birthday, sir? Oh, he doesn't like them. Okay, maybe I should talk to repair some friendship points. If I lost every point that I had with him, I don't think I had any anyway. I mean... There's a little red dot there. There's something. It's more than nothing. <laughs> Is there something good in this trash? We got some cookies. I actually need some food, so I'm just going to eat them straight away. I know I've got the salad zombie. I might as well save those for when I really need them because I've got six of them. 
eat the thing that takes up an extra slot first. So I'm going to start with the lake fish bundle. Get the bullhead in there. I don't think I have anything to actually complete any bundles, but at least I can make some progress. <gasps> I can complete a bundle! Oh my god! Field research is done! Nice! And it's a recycling machine, which we kind of need. Get some extra quartz. Uh, the enchanters bundle I also need to leave. What else do I need to leave? Oh, I need this as well. Okay, well, that. I need more jade. Oh, and it's 15 solar essence. Okay, I've got a ways to go with that. We'll leave those, those, and those. And then we've got a one thing for the full foraging bundle, which is this. I feel like I'm really not having any luck at all finding spice berries anywhere. It's the only thing I really need to get more summer seeds, and I'm just going to go and get the artifact spot over here. Yeah, never know. It might be something good. What are you? That's some mixed seeds. I mean, not amazing, not terrible. Still some free crops for next season, and I'm probably going to end up selling like any spare sweet peas I have. Not all of them, like... I just feel like I've probably gathered a quantity of them. At least, you know, the low quality ones. <gasps> Spice berry! And I got two of them, that's perfect. So another 20 seeds. More money. Lots of artifact spots up here too. Well, all two of them, both of which gave me mixed seeds. Something I'm actually really happy to see in this playthrough. Because until we unlock more seeds at Pierre's, it's the only way I can get some of the crops. For now. Yeah, I do have quite a lot of uh, spare sweet peas, but I'm not going to do that till tomorrow. Let's just go ahead and make our seeds today. In this recycling machine I'm going to put here. We might as well get something going in it right away. Where's all my trash? I've got loads of spare trash in here. Here. And obviously these are going straight into tea saplings. Another 10 of them, that's like two grand. And then you know what? I'm feeling a bit of lake fishing today and there's a bubble spot so this is kind of perfect. We'll get to test out what they mean about the bait being more effective. Maybe I should have brought my wild bait up here. I mean I'm definitely getting very fast bite rates but I think that's just mainly the bubble spot. Uh, but you'll see what I mean in a second. I feel like it's kind of near instant so if I try doing that now- Oh come on! That's just rude. <laughs> that's not pretty quick though. Even without the bubble spot. Oh no I haven't got time for a sturgeon today. Although, saying that, there is treasure here so maybe I do try for it because I might be able to get the other diamond this way. Let's just get it most of the way caught first and then we'll uh, give it a go. Damn it I lost it! No! <laughs> Oh well, let's be honest, who really thought I was going to catch that? For some reason something in my brain says I want to move fishing a location and now I'm going to fish down here. <gasps> Easy treasure, give me that. What have you got for me? Some bait, some frozen geodes and some wood. I mean, the geodes are actually a pretty good shout because we do need stuff for the geologist bundle. Although saying that, didn't I think they were all in magma geodes now? I don't know. Probably. These harder bundles probably would be like that. Just at 7pm as well, so I'm probably going to take a little dip in the lake here, since both of the most valuable fish are now gone. Let's see what we've got going on today down here. So we have some quartz, I'm stuck. I don't think there's anything too exciting. I'm probably not going to bother with the ores today. Let's have a look. Anything good? I mean there's a frozen tear over there, but even that's not that exciting. Nah, I'm not going to bother trying to forage for any of it. We got another bubble spot back, let's go! Just as I kind of get here as well. We're going to ignore the fact that it just gave me trash. The bite is so quick on this that I can barely keep up. Please stop giving me trash. Oh, there's a slime. I'm busy. I hope it can't still- okay, it can still hurt me, it can still hurt me. I was hoping whilst everything was kind of like frozen and paused that I couldn't still get hurt, but you definitely still can. And that is already the end of that bubble spot. Um, anything I want to eat here? Probably the chub. And one salad. And then maybe we just fight our way home from now because obviously the skeletons also give us quite a lot of good money. Oh my god, look at how many there are! And even then, I only got a few bone frags. That's really sad. Honestly, bring on that burglar ring. I'm going ahead now and trying to make sure I do pick up any dust sprites on the way. One over here. Is that a purple slime? Oh, coffee bean. Give me that. That was not a purple slime. Or if it was, it was really easy to kill. Come on, I've killed so many skeletons tonight. You can't tell me... Okay, there's six. That's, that's a little better. I was going to say, you can't tell me with the, like, ten skeletons I've killed, I've only got four bone fragments. That would be absolutely rubbish. Now for today there wasn't really anything too difficult to catch so I am just going to go ahead and sell all the fish that I caught. Um, sell the bone fragments as well, the frozen tear. I think that's it. Now let's go to bed before it gets too late. Just before midnight. And how much money did we make today? Nearly two and a half grand. Creeping up towards that final vault bundle. It was a really good luck day today. Now it's really hard to tell if I should be mining or fishing. We've got another 500 gold as well for the gopher achievement and George wants a hot pepper, we can help with that too. We've also got tea wait I forgot about the tea leaves, oh no wait it's only just grown, we're all good, I haven't missed out on loads of tea leaves. 
I do need to ship one, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, do I keep some? I'm probably gonna start keeping half the making into tea. I'm just really confused about why the other one that I've kept is iridium quality wherever it is. I have no idea. Maybe I should go and speak to Caroline again, or like, you know, go and steal some from her. To be honest, fishing will probably be a good shout today, as much as I hate to say it. Mainly because I can't really progress anywhere further in the mines, although I could get more ores. Maybe we do a bit of both. So like maybe this is the day I might be able to make it down a few more floors. Hmm. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat that lucky lunch up there and we're gonna do it. We're gonna attempt the next set of floors in the mines. Uh, bring my fishing rod, I might want it. There's no point making myself trek all the way home for that. And maybe we bring one emergency chocolate cake just in case things go south. Now dog, you better not get in my way. I need to get up there. Excuse me, thank you. All I really need to do is just leave my rod up here. And let's smelt some stuff whilst we're down there. We'll go with some more gold. Not that I urgently need it at the moment. Though it is 62 gold, that's actually some decent money there. All right, lucky lunch. I don't really use these often, but I think today it's gonna come in very handy. Even on a copper pickaxe. Oh, loads of crates and stuff. I kind of feel bad not picking up all of this fiber. And I feel like even today, I don't know if I should be grabbing all the gold simply because it takes so many hits to kill. I mean, break. Oh, it's a mushroom floor again. I mean, oh no, I might have to reset this floor because I'm going to have a full inventory before we even really get anywhere. Oh no. I could have sworn this was literally a mushroom floor like yesterday or whenever it was that we came in here. Those bats hurt. I need to be careful. To be honest, our inventory is not doing too bad, so I'm probably just going to carry on. There we go. And I just remembered as well, I do have some cherry bombs at the top I probably should have brought with me for this. I'm actually taking advantage of the fact that that void spirit is stuck down there. Maybe I just try and stay away from those. I might actually get another five floors on this. Ah! Okay, now I'm hurt. Um, let's eat the silver one first. Oh, there's a freebie ladder. Let's go. These actually give so much healing, so it's a good thing we found them, really. There we go. We're on uh, five floors down. Let's dump everything. At least all the things we don't really need. Oh no, I forgot the bombs. Actually, the question is, can I make some more? They actually take a lot more though, so I don't know if it's worth it. I'm probably not going to do that. I'll also try and prioritize these easy rocks as well, the ones that only take me one hit to kill or break. Why do I keep saying kill? What is wrong with me today? I've woken up and chosen violence, apparently. I feel like this is a perfect place for a cherry bomb, although not enough for a ladder, apparently. Gutted. You also have no idea how much I wish I had a speed boost. You're so slow. Are we going to get to floor 90 today? We might actually do this. Like, it's only 140. Surely I can do this before- Oh my god, that is a place to cherry bomb down there. Look at all that gold. I'm not leaving without all this. And it's giving me a ladder. This is what I'm talking about. What is our reward today? What is this? The Ossify Blade? Is this better than our sword now? So it's 35 to 63, minus 2 speed, 1 defense, and 2 weight. This is definitely better. We're going to use this instead. And we might as well just quickly run into the Adventurer's Guild and sell it. Although, should I be taking advantage fully of the time? I can always sell it tomorrow. We'll leave the Templar's Blade in here. For some reason, I just feel like these squid kids are really going to hurt. They're so easy to kill, though. It's such easy solar essence. Ow. Ah, let me off this floor. There's too many enemies. I don't like it. There we go. We're out of here. <gasps> diamond! We need that. There's our replacement diamond from the other day. I've decided on just trying to pick up some, but not all of the gold. I think at least that way I still come away with more than none, but it's not taken all of my energy just to mine that stuff. I am pleased with the amount of geodes we've been getting so far as well. I think I've got like four today. That's some more progress on the geologist bundle. And we've got another- wait, technically this is another mushroom floor, right? Because of all the uh, lamps. Oh yeah, there are a few up here. I was thinking like I couldn't see any mushrooms other than like one. Yeah, really burning through those salads today though, I will say. It's worth it. It's worth it. We might even get a star drop today. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, another two mushrooms down here. I mean, if anything, it's just extra money and foraging XP. Both of these things I care about very much. Struggling to get off this floor, though. Kind of need a ladder sometime soon. There it is. Right near the entrance. Of course it is. Come on, five more floors till star drop. We can do this. I'm gonna do my best, if possible, though, to try and not let myself pass out down here because we really need the money and it's a lot of money to give up. Thousand gold's literally like five tea saplings. That is that is a lot. I spy the freebie. Kind of really want to kill that for the solar essence, but kind of also don't want to die in the process. We can do this. Uh, we can do this. Run. We got it. We got it. Everything's fine. I think looking at the amount of enemies on this side, I'm going to go ahead and break every rock over here. 
kind of don't want to die. Kind of can't die. It is the one life challenge. I do literally only have one life. Oh my god, it would be the rock right next to the ladder down, wouldn't it? Of course. Of course it would. That's twice today. Oh, I completely forgot 99 is a spiral floor. It's fine, we can do this. I'm just gonna break every rock as we go along. Oh no, I see a freebie. We're gonna go straight for the freebie. Ignore the bat. Run from the bat. I'm not outrunning the bat. And startup time! There it is, floor 100. Didn't think I was gonna do this. Your mind is filled with thoughts of surviving. <laughs> surviving, my favorite thing. Ah uh, yes, the wonderful feeling of being alive. Okay, what are we gonna bring home? So we're gonna bring all the gems, the geodes, the fire quartz, all the mushrooms. I'm gonna leave a few of the purple mushrooms up here just in case. Some of the other little resources and stuff. And the rest can kind of just chill here. I just realized as well, I do still need space in my inventory for like the bone fragments and stuff. So I'm just gonna leave everything up here as is and run. I think I'm even gonna go ahead and just sell these three because it is 150 gold, but we should get quite a lot of money from all the mushrooms that we got today. And let's see how much we made today. Total of 660, that's not too bad. Ooh, I completely forgot the traveling merchant even existed. Whoops. Okay, we'll go and deal with that first. At least it's raining, so we don't have to water anything. Um, I think I still need these for the enchanters bundle. Yes, I do. And I'm not going to get kegs for a long time, so I probably will just go ahead now and sell these tea leaves. I completely forgot to go to Pierre's as well to see if uh, Caroline's one was still iridium quality. But before we do anything, let's go and do our crop check. Ooh, we've got everything. Well, the first batch of we at least. <laughs> I need my scythe. Now we just have to pray for a decent amount of spice berries. One, two, three. Okay, we can make at least 40 seeds. I say at least because obviously we've got a chance of dropping two forage when we pick up or picking up two forage when we harvest that. You know what I mean. So far though, not a single gold piece of wheat actually. Could we get a single one? Nope, not a single one. Hopefully tomorrow. The only thing that is giving me a little bit of relief here is that we do have the entirety of four to be able to get this as well. What I'm probably not going to do is replant any wheat today. Or should I replant it today and leave it for the ones tomorrow? Maybe I should. Though tomorrow's the one with more, right? I really need more sprinklers. Maybe we should focus on that now. I, I don't know where that came from. I mean, I do. It's almost full. We did only get four, so I'll just have to live with the four. And uh, let's have a look what we want to ship. So I'm going to go with these and... Oh no, we got 50. We got 50, uh, 50 spice berries? 50 summer seeds. Do I have enough of the other stuff to make all of it into tea saplings? Yes, I do. Oh my god. We might actually do this. That's another five grand. Plus the peppers. So now that that's done, let's have a look what we have left. Oops, this is the wrong chest. In terms of summer forage, I want to like go through and pick out a few things to sell. Like we've got so many of these and it's only a little bit more gold, but it's still more, you know? Now in a way, I'm actually sort of hoping the merchant doesn't have anything that I want because, you know, I really need this money for the vault. Right, what do you have? I mean, you've got eggs. I don't know if I need that. I think I need gold star eggs, so I won't bother. No, I think we're good. I think we don't have to worry about missing anything. What I am going to do today is like a sort of final-ish loop of Cindersat Forest. I don't think I've been around here in a few days. Hey, Spiceberry. And this is the exact reason why. That's just been chilling here. I mean, it could have spawned today, but it could have also been here for days and I just didn't know. Plus there's all this fibre that I've kind of been letting grow over the season, so now I get to take some of it home with me. Knowing that there's a bubble spot here and this is the day that I didn't bring my fishing rod, I think I've still left out by the mines. That does remind me I do have a sword to sell to today. I mean, hey, even if we got one more spice berry, that's still another, like, thousand gold. Ah, another one. <gasps> yes, come on, give me two. Okay, fine, I shouldn't get greedy. <laughs> and another one. <gasps> Yay! I feel like it's usually grapes that I have the most trouble with. <gasps> There's another one here. Oh my god. It's our lucky day. And we got two. Touch wood. This is definitely the episode we complete the vault. There is no way we're not doing this now, right? Hopefully I've not just jinxed myself. I just realised as well, my friendship with Caroline has actually dipped below two hearts, so I do wonder if that means she's revoked access to her tea room. I hope not. There's another 50 seeds. And I think I'm actually going to run out of fibre and wood today, which is a pretty easy thing to solve. Let's chuck those in there and then do we go to the mines today? I think we will. I'm gonna go up via Piers obviously because we do want to check out that tea sapling situation there. But the reason I'm thinking of the mines today instead of tomorrow is because I noticed that it's still like a kind of decent luck day so I might as well take advantage of that in the mines because we might come home with some other goodies too. I'm not gonna try and progress any of the floors though. Let's speak to Caroline on our way past. 
My garden is happy today, I'm sure it is. All that rain. Please tell me I can still get in. I can. Now, is it iridium quality? It is. How much more worth is it? I think it's literally double. That's pretty awesome. I never had a playthrough where such small amounts of gold are still so essential. I see here I can make another three sprinklers, so I'll go ahead and do that. I did just accidentally smelt some gold instead of some iron or copper though, so that's kind of annoying. I should still by the end of the season be able to make another two sprinklers, I think. Maybe I should focus on trying to up those as well. Right, so let's sell our Templar's Blade, another little bit of gold. Yeah, I think tomorrow we should be on track to be able to get that vault bundle. But I think today, let's just go ahead and do floor 80 reset again. Oh, a diamond. That was a good immediate little find. I'm really here for the fiber. But obviously if I see these, I'm not going to say no. And there's our final fire quartz for the geologist bundle as well. I feel like progress on this challenge feels like it's like never going to happen. And then suddenly it all kind of happens all at once. Of course, I do need to make sure next season I have some money left over for taxes as well. I just thought about that. A little nervous about that. Those taxes are coming up in like four days. I don't really know how much to leave. So the beginning of this season, I think I paid 700 or something. Hey, level up in mining just from that diamond. And uh, maybe this season I leave like probably going to have to be like two, three grand, isn't it really? It makes it hard to decide when to buy seeds. Like, do I just wait for the second? Because it's only one more day, right? And I haven't got anything with particularly long harvest times this time because, I mean, I do have that first lot of pumpkins, but I don't have a seed maker to make more of them anyway, so I don't have to worry too much about a second harvest. And even then, I think they take 13 days, so I would still technically be able to fit two in if I just did it on the second anyway. So maybe I don't buy seeds till the second this year. I don't know. We'll just have to see how much gold we have by that point. Another emerald. There is also, I guess, every chance that we finish the treasure hunter bundle today then. Ooh, copper. Definitely be needing some of that. Obviously, a good thing about the way that the rocks work on this is... I feel like it's to a seed in a day, I think they said. So I don't know if you noticed, but obviously we've been down here a few times and there have been three diamonds in this exact spot. So as long as I keep resetting this floor, it's a pretty good chance of finding diamonds. And that is going to be a lot of gold. Obviously nowhere near worth as much as like regular Stardew without these mods, but still one of the most valuable items that we have. I think I'm only going to do one more reset after this one as well though, just because of time. Again, don't want to pass out, don't want to lose any money that way. That would be an absolute pain. I mean, maybe we can manage one more. Just one. I promise. Just one. <laughs> it's so hard not to keep going. I was kind of hoping a diamond would spawn again, but never mind. We still got quite a lot of fibre today. Oh, we got the burglar shank as well. That's a bit more money tomorrow, probably. I'm going to sell half my gold too. Now, let's get home. There's another spice berry here too. That is one extra entire set of summer seeds. Let's grab all of this out of here. I think it's the wood I'm going to run out of now. We've got another 13 tea saplings, so we need a bit more wood for four more's worth, but I can deal with that tomorrow. We're going to keep two of the diamonds and we're going to sell one. And over here, I think we just need one more emerald now. And at this point, I think I'm just going to get to bed. Actually, uh, let's have a little snack of some cave carrots that I found in the mines. I'm once again completely out of food, or at least food that I want to eat. And what we're going to pick for level 5 mining? Craft twice as many explosive, exploded rock shield, two times as much coal. I'm not really too fussed about that. I mean, the twice as many explosives could be good, but I want more ores, so we're going to go miner. How much money are we making today? 10 grand! Or 11 grand? I was kind of just staring at the tea sapling number more than anything. <laughs> but you know what that means. Well, first we're going to deal with all of our farm chores. We do have all of our hay and our hot peppers ready once again. And we've leveled up in farming to level three. My goodness, farming is very, very slow to level. It probably would have been a bit faster if I was not lazy about wanting to water crops. Wait, what did I do with... Did I leave the sprinklers up by the mines? I think I did. Do I even have anything to water today? I mean, these are already in three days, so no. The corn I will water though. Did I even get any gold wheat? I got another two. We need three more. Oh, there's one more there that I missed. Come on, please be gold. Please. I'm begging you. <gasps> it is. Begging works sometimes, I swear. <laughs> oh, and I completely forgot about the hot pepper for George's knee. I'll make sure to keep one of those aside. We'll get all of our extra crops sold. And then I'm going to be annoying and have the big thing not be the first thing we do because I do just want to go and switch out some ores at the mines. I was going to go and place the sprinklers now, but I probably don't need to do that because I am going to come back up here today. But you know what? Now that we're going to buy this bundle, it's going to be really nice next season not to have to worry about saving all of my money to dump into here. Let's get that final bundle! Crystallarium! 
Oh, I'm putting the jades in there. The jades are going to be what gets us for the treasure hunter bundle. There it is. We are the Junimos, keepers of the forest. Goodbye. Thank you for repairing the room. Oh my god, I can't believe we did it. <laughs> There's our one room. So now for the second main goal of the challenge, we just have to survive the first year. But let's see how far we can go. I'm not going to relax on trying to get that community center done. Let's see how much we can do by the end of the year. Some of it is just physically impossible till next year, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to try. Ooh, more cookies. What about this bin here? Nothing. Look at you with your fake trash in your fake bin. This is for you, George. I'm sorry that it took me a couple of days, but I'll take the extra 200 gold because it's worth a lot more than the hot peppers are worth when I just sell them myself. And Lewis's trash has nothing as well. Why are you lying to me, trash? How dare you? Ooh, there's more. Everyone's got lids on their bins today. I don't even care if Sam sees me do this. I know I'm digging in the trash. I, I want stuff. You are all with your stupid lids on your bins making me think you got stuff in there. So I was thinking to myself, I wonder if I should handle the emerald first. Let me just check how many jades we need again. I keep forgetting we need... Oh, so all we need is the prismatic shard. I mean, I'm still going to put a jade in there because it's going to be good for staircases. <laughs> I was going to say we can get off at staircases tomorrow, but we literally don't have any jades that we can do that with at the moment. And now today is going to purely be about how many more sprinklers we can make. Although I could save that for tomorrow. Or maybe we do it on both days, I don't know. What I'd do as well, since I'm passing Robins, I'm going to have a look because next season might be the first time we start to build buildings. I want to know how much any of these will be. So I think everything has been boosted by about a third, if I'm not mistaken. So that kind of makes sense to me. Like, maybe we'll be able to get our first coop then. We do need to work on that stuff for the animal bundle. There's another sprinkler down, so we've got five more sprinklers today. But well, technically two more, we already had three in here. I ran out of iron though, so that's what we're going to smelt. We've actually run out of all the ores. Uh, do I smell anything else while we're in there? I guess I could do some more quartz. Just to keep the furnaces occupied, I'm gonna maybe also get some more copper for one more furnace. I think it would just do us some good to have a little bit extra. Although I do realize that doing ore mining today probably isn't smart given that it's not the best luck day. And again, I'm gonna go and try and get some of these bugs, damn it. I still haven't got a damn ancient seed. I truly think that they can't actually drop from these bugs anymore. I really do wonder where we get them though. How do we get them in this playthrough? Maybe I'm just going to have to hope that they come in the travelling car at some point, because I know that's possible. I was just about to say I'm switching to mining iron, because that is what we need more of, but there's a huge clump of copper up there that I'm not going to say no to. I guess that's another reason to pick the frozen floors to mine on, because you can technically get both. That's more like it, and I've got a bomb for it too. Plus obviously the fact that we just got the miner perk, that is always going to help. I'm pretty sure that means the minimum amount of ore we get per node is two. Better than the one from before, it's double. And this floor has so many dust sprites on it, oh my god. I really should have checked last time I was in the Adventurers Guild how far away I am from getting that burglar ring. I know I do check every now and again, but I can never remember where I was at. All I remember is it being kind of nowhere near. But that's got to have made a decently sized dent. <laughs> you would hope. I'm very aware that I am completely out of food though, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Am I completely out of food? Yeah, I am. Like, I might be able to make a bug steak to heal my health, but... It's not really going to help me for hunger and thirst or anything. I cannot make a bug steak. Oh, I've got a mushroom. Hang on. Let's just do this to help us a little bit. And I do officially have enough to make one more furnace. I am going to wait until the next bars are done, though. There's no point in them being done at different times. That would kind of just annoy me. But judging by the fact that the current iron only has one more hour to go, I think I'm going to manage just those two more bars tonight. You know, before I have to make my way home. But we take it a good few sprinklers today still. All right, let's get these three in there. Seven sprinklers to take home with us. I'm noticing my hunger and thirst as well. That's kind of making me a little bit worried. I should have at least something I can shove in my mouth when I get home. I'm also getting real life hungry too. I'm very excited making some spaghetti bolognese today. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that, but like, I like hearing about what other people eat too. So um, let me know in the comments what you're having whilst, uh, I mean, I guess not necessarily whilst watching this. If you're eating whilst watching this, what are you eating? I like food. I like talking about food. Should I just eat the ice cream? I could make another field snack. Let's do that. That's just going to get us like a little bit. And I'm not going to put down the sprinklers till tomorrow, but for now, I just want to sell off a few little things. There's our bus repair. Our first Junimo restoration. Ooh, I see a spice berry on the screen. I just pointed to the screen as if you could see what I'm talking about. Could you see it? I mean, you can't literally see where I'm pointing, but could you see the spice berry? We've got the bee house. We've got some speed grow and a farmer's lunch. Let's see what it takes to make the bee house tomorrow. 
We do have an abundance of coal, so we might actually be able to do this, even if it's just going to give us a basic honey. Still a little bit extra to sell, although I wonder how much honey is going to be worth. Let's get the queen of sauce. We're going to learn how to make some bread. And then what's in our mail? We've got the moonlight jellies tonight. Maybe we'll go say hi to people whilst we're over there. We might as well say goodbye to all of our tea. In fact, maybe we even pop over and take the bus for the first time today because I just thought that maybe it might be a good idea to see if we can pick up any of the desert forage that's going to be hanging out there. I don't have to worry too hard about food because we've got a hot pepper here. It's a gold star one, so I'm going to keep it. We do have our four mushrooms, so I'm going to shovel those in my face. And now we should be in much better shape. I should probably go get some more salads from Gus today too. So now that these hot pepper plants are done with, let's see where we are missing sprinklers next. So one needs to go here, one needs to go here. Let's plop them down. And which other spaces are we missing? I think we need one here. I'm going to destroy this plant so it doesn't confuse me. One here, one here. And then the rest are kind of just for expanding. So there, there. And that's it. Okay, well, we still got some extra spaces. So I'm going to go ahead and till the ones that we need. And I'm going to go ahead and pickaxe some of the ones that aren't going to be covered just to not confuse me. Especially the ones that are going to be close by or giving us a spot with a plant that isn't going to be needed. So I think those can go away. I'm going to tilt this one, this one. And I think we're good. We have quite a lot more space. Oh my god, dog, can you please not block me in the cave again? So before we do anything, let's go and see what the merchant has brought us today. Oh my god, we got the beet seeds. Although I can get them from Sandy now for cheaper. So maybe I don't... Wait, can I though? I'm not going to buy them yet. I am going to get the bok choy. Do I get the bok choy? I'm guessing that he's probably going to sell that. I'm going to get the green tea. Wait, do I need that? So in the pantry, I'm looking at... I think there's two brewers bundles. So we need one green tea for this one. And we need not a green tea for this one. But we still need one. So it's still a good shout. Plus it's only 100 gold. Lobster, I know we need. And the mayonnaise. Let's shove all those in our chest for now. I probably should have got one more green tea for shipping, but we are going to get kegs later on, obviously, eventually. And uh, let's get on that bus for the first time. It still costs 500 gold. That's a relief. I was kind of worried that it was going to, for some reason, be way more expensive. And I kind of want to see if the trade is any different. I don't think that it is. I'll go and grab all of our forage as well. And I was kind of hoping there'd be some here that was uh, gold quality, but looks like we're not getting that lucky today. And we go and meet Sandy for the first time. I should have brought a flower for her, really. Hello. Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis. Hey, you look just like the new farmer that Emily wrote to me about. Does she describe me like in detail or something? Then the bus line to Stardew Valley is back in service. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, bless her. She's probably been really lonely here. Where's the bouncer? I just realized the bouncer's not on the door. Oh, there he is. You pull a burnt thing. Okay, so we can buy all the seeds here as usual. You can also get ice creams from here that are actually quite cheap. I'm gonna buy one just to see how much they give us. We're definitely gonna get some beet seeds. Let's just start with 25 of these for now. Yeah, we will. And let's eat one of these ice creams to see what they give us. I mean, it's 120, right? It gives us a lot of thirst, a decent amount of fullness and a decent amount of energy, but it still just occurred to me that the salads are a lot cheaper and I don't know why I did that. Whoops. I just realized I'm over by Skull Cabins. It's a decent luck day. Do I brave it? I have a cactus fruit. Kind of want to see. The door is locked. Oh, I don't have the skull key. <laughs> I haven't got to the bottom of the mine yet. I completely forgot. Oh my god. Okay. Who knows? Doing that might have just like completely saved our butt there. I know that it's a particularly dangerous place in uh, this mod pack and I was, I was kind of curious and I love skull cabins usually. I really wanted to see, but hey, I mean, I guess that's our next big thing is to get to the bottom of the mines. Let's make one more set of seeds to put in our chest over here. And I think what I'm going to do today is let's go to Gus's. We're going to get a few more salads and I desperately need some wood. So we're going to go ahead and uh, destroy the entire farm. Now, are these bins still going to be pretending to have stuff in? No, seems not. This one is. Okay, never mind. And I think today we're going to ask for 10 salads. Oh, I forgot the water as well. Let's have a look at the difference between the bottle of water and the glass of water. I mean, the bottle does give us more energy and stuff and that does help, so I'm going to buy another 25 of them. There is no harm in it at all. The other reason now I need the wood as well is also because, not just the tea saplings, but next season if we're obviously going to be building, hopefully our first building, got to make it out of something. I mean, I know I could technically go buy some wood from Robin, but I imagine that it's still going to be really expensive and uh, money we don't come by so easily in this playthrough. 
Oh my god, I almost just um, starved to death. Let's stop that from happening. I completely forgot that I was hungry. I'm also going to go ahead and make a couple of field snacks because we do have the seeds for it. Even though they don't give thirst, I now have enough water to last me a while. In hindsight as well, I'm realising what I probably should have also done is brought my furnaces with me because I probably could have got a couple more sets of... Uh, I was going to say iridium bars, I meant iron bars. That would have got us a few more sprinklers for next season. But it's fine, we're going to probably have way more than enough time, I just realised, finishing this tree. Damn it, I lost most of it to the water. There we go. Um, let's make the remaining tea saplings. We're probably going to go up there and mine some more anyway. Especially on a really good luck day, why not, you know? I mean, who knows, maybe we can get to the bottom today. It is 20 floors though to do in an entire evening, I don't know. 300 gold as well, I don't think passing out will be the worst thing in the world, because part of me is also wondering how many seeds I'm really going to end up buying tomorrow. Thinking about it, I've got loads of mixed seeds, I've got loads of beet seeds, I've got those nine pumpkin seeds as well. Like, I don't know if I'm going to need to buy any. I mean, I suppose I could do like half and half, right? I could get a few more floors down in the mines, and then, ow, I could also then go back and farm for copper. That is if I don't die before then. Although we really have to hope I don't die before then, because then this challenge is over. I should be fine. It's going to be fine. It's fine. I just need to really remember to keep an eye on the bars. Oh my god, the Dance of the Moonlight jellies, I completely forgot. Uh, do I still want to go? I don't know if I want to go. I mean, we can always go next year, right? I mean... Let's be honest, it's a festival where you pretty much just stand there and look at a show, which I know it's a cute show and everything, but the friendship points I gain from talking to everyone there is so minimal, and I really need to make mines progress. Wait, why am I still trying to mine here when I really need copper? I'm actually going to let myself pass out today, I think. Okay, copper smelted. We've got one more sprinkler, so we've got three more we can place tomorrow. Let's not pass out here. We're out of the mines now. Let's just get home and get the field ready for fall. I mean, I might end up passing out at home trying to fix the rest of this up, but I think the sprinklers and getting them down before the beginning of the day will be worth it to not have to water. Let's have a look. So first of all, get these monsters out of my way. And usually I'd be saying tilling all of these is probably a waste of time, but this time I don't think tiles actually decay in this cave, so there's no harm in trying, right? We'll see what happens tomorrow or next week is what I mean. Let's get to sleep and that, as we'll see how much money we get, another 1900. We won't be buying any more seeds tomorrow. We're going to save them for taxes. But I feel like that is what I call a successful summer for this challenge. I can't believe we already met one of our major goals. And the rest of it really is just a matter of time. We are still going to go ahead and try and complete as much of the community centre as we can. And you guys seem to be liking the series enough that we probably will end up trying to take it to perfection, let's see. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, thank you so much to my channel members, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye!